Oscar nominations. We'll have those surprises along with expert inside analysis and startling predictions as the countdown to the Academy Awards gets underway. Began before dawn this morning as Academy President Carl Malden and Kathleen Turner announced the nominees for the 64th Annual Academy Awards. And the name they mention most often, Bugsy. And you think you can steal from me, from Maya Lansky and Charlie Luciano, and get away with it? Bugsy strong-armed the competition, picking up the most nominations, 10, including Best Picture. Warren Beatty stars as Ben Bugsy Siegel, the ruthless mobster whose weakness is one woman and whose obsession is to build a hotel in the then desolate area known as Las Vegas. John F. Kennedy's murder was probably one of the most terrible moments in the history of our country. JFK picked up eight nominations in all. The film probes the questions many Americans have wrestled with for nearly 30 years now. Who killed JFK and why? The Prince of Tides was nominated for seven Oscars. What are you all hiding? This is not about me! Then why are you so upset? Because I don't like being lied to. Barbara Streisand plays a psychiatrist who tries to uncover a painful secret, one that nearly destroys a family. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Anthony Hopkins is Hannibal the Cannibal Lecter in The Silence of the Lambs, which also scored a total of seven nominations. Jodie Foster plays an FBI agent who enlists the monstrous killer to help her track down another mass murderer. And finally, Beauty and the Beast, the first animated film ever to be nominated for a Best Picture Oscar. True, that is no Prince Charming. It is, of course, the classic tale of a beautiful young girl who learns to look inside the heart of a beast, only to discover her true Prince Charming. Three of the Best Picture nominees also received recognition for directing. Barry Levinson for Bugsy, Oliver Stone for JFK, and Jonathan Demme for Silence of the Lambs. Ridley Scott received a directing nomination for Thelma and Louise, as did first-time director John Singleton for Boys in the Hood. There were no major surprises in the Best Actor category, but there was a wealth of veteran talent. The five nominees have collected a combined 24 Oscar nominations over the years, 14 in the Best Actor category alone. All good things to those who wait. Anthony Hopkins has been waiting a long time for this good thing. His Oscar nomination as carnivorous Hannibal Lecter in Silence of the Lambs is his first, and he says he won't hold his breath. As with the awards, no, no expectations. Otherwise, you don't, get, you don't get disappointed then. It's also a first for Nick Nolte for Best Actor as Barbara Streisand's love interest in The Prince of Tides. And he says he's trying to keep his high hopes in check as well. I um, try not to anticipate any of this, not to get too caught up with it. But, uh, um, yeah, it's rather exciting. You'll think you're better than me. No, I don't think I'm better than you. That's not... Nolte also co-stars in Cape Fear, but it's six-time Oscar nominee Robert De Niro who gets the Best Actor nod for this film, and De Niro already has two awards at home. Robin Williams hopes to reel in an Oscar for his role in The Fisher King as a homeless man. After two previous nominations, this third may be the charm. It's an amazing group of people, and it is... Uh, I think what they should actually do for the award is put us in a room and let us fight it out, and De Niro will get it. So it's because it's a big man. Warren Beatty's latest Academy recognition is not only a nomination as Best Actor, but as producer of Best Picture nominee Bugsy, which makes him very proud. It matters to you. It uh, makes you feel good. It, it's, a, it's a kind of an indefinable thing. Look, you need three million dollars. If you can come up with two million, I can come up with one. John Bugsy co-star Ben Kingsley also joins the Oscar list of nominees for supporting actor for his portrayal of mobster Meyer Lansky. And for one more of the ten total nominations for this tale of the ruthless beginnings of Las Vegas, Harvey Keitel also makes the list as a supporting actor nominee. Now, just a minute, sir. You are way out of line. Tommy Lee Jones joins the actors standing in line for the Best Supporting Actor Oscar for his evil work as a Kennedy conspirator in JFK. And veteran actor Jack Palance picked up his third nomination as Supporting Actor in Billy Crystal's City Slickers as a crusty old cowboy. You know what the secret of life is? No, what? This. Your finger? Janie, I'm doing an interview right now with Entertainment Tonight. But we're going to go out, yes? Right. And Michael Lerner's phone was ringing off the hook right after he got the news about his Best Supporting Actor nomination as the sleazy studio head in Barton Fink. But there was one person he couldn't reach. I'm trying to reach my mother. Blanche, where are you? You're at the Hotel Seville in Miami. I can't reach you. Will you please somebody tell Blanche Lerner to call her son Michael? Collect!
<laughs> Blanche, it's urgent. By the way, Jack Palance goes into the record books as the actor with the longest time between acting nominations. His last was 38 years ago for his supporting role in Shane. Susan Sarandon and Gina Davis hopped into a car in Thelma and Louise and drove away with a hit. After this morning's nomination, Sarandon told Entertainment Tonight she never would have jumped into that car without Davis. Now both of them can ride to the Oscars together. Gina Davis as Thelma and Susan Sarandon as Louise will now compete for the same Best Actress Oscar for their work in this buddy movie about two women who go on a cross-country crime spree. No, I know it's crazy. I just feel like I got a knack for this. I believe you did. Jodie Foster is going after a second Oscar with her portrayal of an FBI agent hunting a serial killer in The Silence of the Lambs. You know who he is, don't you? Tell me who decapitated your patient, Dr. Bette Midler won her second Best Actress nomination this morning for the part of Dixie Leonard, the USO singer in For the Boys. Alone in the dark with thousands of men, there is a God after all. And Laura Dern is a first-time nominee today as Rose in Ramblin' Rose. She brings joy and pain to a Southern family. I know I was bad, and I had not to have done it. But I am only a human girl person, and I ain't always perfect. I'm thrilled. I grew up around the Academy Awards. Uh, I've been to the Academy Awards as a little girl with my parents, and, uh, you know, it's very exciting. In the Best Supporting Actress category, Laura Dern's real-life mom, Diane Ladd, was also nominated, also for her part in Rambling Rose. That's an Oscar first. I can't believe you remember that you made me fry green tomatoes. <laughs> Jessica Tandy and another past Oscar winner, Kathy Bates, were paired in Fried Green Tomatoes, and Jessica gets another nomination. For her role in The Prince of Tides, Kate Nelligan gets a chance at an Oscar. She plays Lila Wingo, whose family is buried under its own secrets. You know what your problem is? You dwell too much on the past. I never look back. When I say goodbye to something, I close the door. You do the work, you do the best you can, and it's wonderful if something like this happens, but if it doesn't happen, it's a kind of a, a, a strange reason to be upset. <laughs> As Anne in The Fisher King, Mercedes Rule was Jeff Bridges' long-suffering girlfriend, and Oscar voters noticed. What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? I couldn't have gotten from anybody with no name any night of the week. At 18, Juliette Lewis is the youngest nominee. She played the precocious Danielle in Cape Fear. So you're that guy that's been hanging around the house? You're the one that killed my mom's dog? Your mom's dog was killed? Yeah. It's nice to be acknowledged as, um, as a good actress rather than as a young girl who accidentally did a good thing. And congratulations to all yes. the nominees. The Oscars will be presented live on ABC Monday night, March 30th. Guess what? We'll be there. And when we 